Malika Andrews is under fire once again. She started trending after her response to the situation with Coach Udoka with the Boston Celtics and this inappropriate consensual relationship with a woman in the organization. That's when a clip from her show went viral, showing Kendrick Perkins making the point that women also involved with Udoka broke the organization's code and they too should be held accountable for messing around at the job. Malika basically dismissed him and told him he didn't know what he was talking about, cut him off and threw him off the show. Then she was invited to speak on first take with Stephen A. Smith and she was up there talking to a 54 year old man like he was a teenager. Not only is he twice her age, but he's also a very experienced journalist. He's been in the game since way before she was even born. So no, he's not her peer, they're not on the same level, no matter if you're looking at it by age or their careers. And then when Udoka's replacement was announced for the year during his suspension, the interim coach for Boston, Coach Joe, you know, he's only 34 years old, the youngest person in the NBA in a head coach position. And during that announcement, Malika mentioned his criminal history from a decade and a half ago. If you missed those videos, the link will be below. I did cover those. You can check them out for yourself. So now you have a lot of people fed up with Malika and they're pulling receipts from all over the place. Here's another one. Um, shifting gears, uh, former Michigan State star Adrian Payne was shot and killed in Orlando, Florida early Monday morning, the Orange County Sheriff's Office said, and, and Payne was the 15th pick by the Atlanta Hawks in 2014, played four seasons in the NBA with multiple teams. In 2018, he was waived by the Magic after he was named in a report by ESPN's Outside the Lines that he'd been involved in an alleged sexual assault at Michigan State in 2010. No charges were filed in that case. Prior to playing in the NBA, Payne was a member of the All-10, All-Big Ten second team in two of his four seasons with Michigan State. So Draymond Green, who was Payne's teammate for two seasons in Michigan, tweeted this. You can see the broken heart emojis on Monday. Payne was 31 years old. NBA Today, we'll be right back. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. If you're new to the channel, include new subscriber in your comment below, and I'm gonna try my best to respond to all of you. The new clip of making its way around social media comes from a couple of months ago, back in May 2022, when former NBA player Adrian Payne was killed in Orlando, Florida. Adrian and his girlfriend tried to mediate an argument that his girlfriend's friend was having with her baby daddy. It was a friend who called Adrian and his girlfriend over. Malika went on air to report on Adrian's passing and she decided to mention old allegations about him. These allegations came from a woman who accused Adrian of S.A. during his freshman year at Michigan State. Immediately when ESPN broke that news back in January 2018, the Orlando Magic released him and he had to continue his career overseas. There was a full investigation. The prosecutor in Michigan said that no crime was committed and never charged Adrian for those accusations that single-handedly destroyed his NBA career. All of that happened and now a few years later, Adrian lost his life over an argument that had nothing to do with him. To make matters worse, even in his death, you had Malika dragging his name once again. Um, shifting gears, uh, former Michigan State star Adrian Payne was shot and killed in Orlando, Florida early Monday morning, the Orange County Sheriff's Office said, and, and Payne was the 15th pick by the Atlanta Hawks in 2014, played four seasons in the NBA with multiple teams. In 2018, he was waived by the Magic after he was named in a report by ESPN's Outside the Lines that he'd been involved in an alleged sexual assault at Michigan State in 2010. No charges were filed in that case. You know, a lot of people are asking why would Malika bring up those accusations? He was never prosecuted because there was no evidence that a crime was even committed. And that came from the prosecutor. If no crime was committed, Malika, why would you bring up the crime on national television seen by millions all over the world when reporting on the man's death? There are other great moments in his life that could have been highlighted during that time. Many argue that Adrian was a victim of false allegations at the height of the Me Too movement. And then he became a victim when his life was taken. All of that for Malika to do what she did as well? I think it's very apparent that Malika was put there for a reason. Her main goal is to taint the image of black men. One, she really shouldn't even have that job. Why didn't they hire her to report on the WNBA instead of the NBA? 
And then why was she hired when there are other women that's been working in the field for years, waiting for that same prime position? And we can't forget about men. Men that's been working there for years, just waiting on such an opportunity. To be fair, there are some great female reporters from years ago as well that never had this type of scrutiny. Those women did their jobs, maintained a level of professionalism and respect to their colleagues and guests on the show, and they didn't have issues. The females who the audience always had a problem with, they're the loud feminists and the misandrists. So it's not about misogyny or men just not wanting women there. It's about disrespect. Malika is disrespectful and she's unprofessional. We're seeing time and time again that she is out of order. And then how was she able to carry on like that on a network mostly supported by men in general and black men in very high numbers? How was she allowed to do this to her own audience? It really shows me that something is really going on at ESPN. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below. What do you think about this? Shout out to Robert P, Charles, Tommy H and our brother Dark Power. I appreciate all of you for your support. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.